What's up guys, hope you're doing all good. It's your boy Big Arc back today with another YouTube video and today I'm playing World of Warcraft Shadowlands. Uh, we are still in the pre-patch, however Shadowlands is launching on Monday, November 23rd and there's going to be a lot of people playing at launch. So what I'm going to talk about in this video is basically how to maximize the gold you can earn on launch day and within the next week, week and a half after the expansion comes out. So what happens every expansion is everyone is online and they see the new recipes they can make with their leather working, blacksmithing, tailoring, so and so. So this is where gathering professions come in super strong. As you can see on my priest right now, I have skinning and leather working. Um, I'm probably going to sub this out for uh, skinning and herbalism and I'll tell you why in a second. So uh, we're going to go into my leather working here and unlearned and you're going to see the Shadowlands patterns. Uh, as soon as you go here, you see all the stuff you uh, earn from skinning can be used to make these different hides. Uh, but what we're really interested in is uh, the bone shatter stuff. So as you can see, it's uh, leather. And when you click on the tooltip, it says Unique Equipped Shadowlands Crafted Legendary 1. So what's different in Shadowlands is that in this expansion, you're going to be able to craft your own legendaries. So this is where professions become a big deal because everyone's going to be trying to make their own. You farm the essences doing Torghast and then you can select which effects go on your legendary. So what I'm going to be doing on the first day of Shadowlands is I'm going to be getting two gathering professions and then I'm going to be making my alts uh, level up their professions with leatherworking, tailoring, blacksmithing, uh, anything that will be able to create the crafted gear. And I'm going to try to sell the raw materials and even a couple... Uh, crafted ones because there's some people that just want to skip the wait use their gold buy it so this way they don't have to wait for people to actually farm the materials and craft uh, the stuff you need so basically I'm going to show you my alts right here on altaholic we're going to go to skills uh, as you can see I have a death knight who will be hitting 50 soon he has engineering and tailoring uh, my warrior has mining and blacksmithing and then my mage has jewel crafting and enchanting. That's not as important uh, as you can see on Blackwater Raiders. Uh, basically everything complements each other. So I have herbalism and inscription, leatherworking and skinning, and alchemy and herbalism. So basically every expansion at launch, raw materials are always going to be the way to go. This expansion even more because these raw materials are going to be used quickly and effectively to try and make legendaries. Uh, with the way Torghast is scaled though, I think for the first couple weeks, you can only do a couple levels. So grinding to actually make your legendary is going to take a little while. But people are still going to want to get the basics uh, in their bag. So this way when they do have the available materials, just pop it all together and boom, they have a legendary. So what I'm going to be doing on this guy is probably switching from skinning and leatherworking to skinning and herbalism or skinning and mining depending on the zones. Um, this is going to be my first guy that I level up, and then I'm going to be going to either Monk or Warrior, whichever has another gathering profession. And this way I'll be able to get all these raw materials, sell them if the gold is high, or make the raw le uh, legendary items and then sell those. Um, this is basically how you're going to be making money the first day, first week, first week and a half of Shadowlands, because there's going to be a lot of people who don't have the time to farm these materials and they just want to pay gold to basically skip those steps so you can do this while leveling that's probably the best way to do it but even after you hit max level once you're doing uh more of your campaign quest because i heard the campaign doesn't even end until you reach 60 uh you'll still be flying around all these different zones not flying you'll be running you'll be running around all these different zones and you'll be able to get these materials and just sell them for a quick coin uh one example that i had uh where this really worked out was when legion first came out uh in the broken isles in valshara at this little area here um there were these like uh wooden npcs that you could skin and they would farm dream leaf so basically i was getting dream leaf to level three and it was dropping all these seeds and like seven dream leaf per herb and the respawn rate was really quick and i was able to make like 50k gold just in raw dream leaf just in that one hour of doing it so this is going to help you in a lot of ways, whether it's affording subscription, um, character boosts, whatever, because now that um, you can use battle net balance through WoW tokens, you can just grind this gold and basically fund your playing time. So for a quick recap, uh, 
what I'm going to run through is Shadowlands drops uh, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time on Monday, November 23rd. It's going to be way different depending where you are around the globe. Every expansion, raw materials, and the basic uh, crafted legendaries are going to be the best. Uh, this is a little different in Shadowlands because the player is going to have uh, basically the creativity they want to make whatever their legendary to look like. And uh, all gathering professions are going to be the best first day. First day and first week, uh, that's when you're going to want to start building the stuff and selling it. Because that's when people are going to have the gold uh, to basically buy their way to their gear. Um, that's pretty much it. That's going to be my tip and trick for Shadowlands launch on how to make gold. Uh, hopefully, uh, not too many people are flooding the market. But otherwise, you should be in for a nice little haul at the end of the day. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Um, sticking around at the end of the video, I will be live streaming um, the launch day. Uh, from I think it's uh, 2 55 p.m. Pacific Standard Time uh, probably for eight nine hours ish uh, I would appreciate if you guys tuned in I'm currently at 149 subscribers thank you all so much for who subscribed uh, but I will be doing wow token giveaways at 250 500 and 1000 subs so uh, definitely tune in for that um, thanks you guys so much for watching if you want to see more content I will be posting gold guides uh, character guides and basically like dungeon and raid guides once Shadowlands drops. Uh, so if you do want to see more of that, just like, comment, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Uh, thanks so much. Hope you guys are all doing well and staying safe during this COVID time. Uh, this has been your boy, Big Arc. Peace.